In this tutorial, we will learn to measure the co-localization from two different channel images using image J. We will use regression method for our analysis. For this tutorial, we will use simple Pearson's R analysis that uses regression method and it is background insensitive. In Pearson's co-localization coefficient, it calculates the co-dependency of variations in gray intensity across two channel images using linear regression and returns the value R. If R is equal to minus 1, it suggests that the two stains are completely incompatible. If R is equal to 0, it suggests that there is no significant interdependence between the two stains. If R is equal to 1, it suggests that the two stains are completely interdependent. Various plugins are available to analyze the co-localization. In this tutorial, we will use Jacob plugins for the analysis. The plugins is available to download from the website shown in the screen. Now, let us perform the co-localization analysis. Here are images of cells stained with DAPI in blue and KI67 in red. The merged image below is an overlap of the DAPI and KI67. In this tutorial, we will analyze the co-localization and find if the two stains in the image are interdependent. Let us import the image to image J by drag and drop method. Next, split the color channels by clicking on image, color, and split channels. At this stage, the images are converted into 8-bit images and splits into three different images. The image here in the first is from the blue channel DAPI and the second image is from the red channel KI67 staining. We can disregard the image from the third channel in green. To use the Jacob plugins for co-localization analysis, click on plugins and then click on Jacob. This window displays all the parameters to be input for the co-localization analysis. The images to analyze are imported by default under image A and image B. Next, check on the following options. Accept overlap coefficient K1 and K2 and objects-based methods. If you only want the intensity-based co-localization analysis, you can also tick off the object-based co-localization method. Under threshold, use the slider to threshold the image A and image B until the red mask covers the signal for each channel. For instance, in this blue channel for DAPI, the red mask can be adjusted using the slider until the staining is masked entirely. The red mask in the red channel for KI67 seemed alright and no change is required. Next, under CCF, make sure the X shift is 20. Under microscope, make sure that the metadata are correct. Under coast random, the number of random rounds should be minimum of 200 and bin width as 0.001. The image fitting to blocks size should be set to string to fit. 
and then click Analyze. The result window will display all the statistics, including the Pearson's coefficient. In this case, the R value is equal to 0.766. Values close to or above 0.5 are considered statistically significant. The significance of Pearson's R can be further tested using cost approximation. Thus, we successfully determine the co-localization using Pearson's coefficient of the two-channel image. Thanks for watching the video. Do stay tuned for more such videos by subscribing to this channel.